And welcome back, everyone. A few items this week that just had us shaking our heads, and even sometimes more than that. First off, you don't even have to be a Yankee fan uh, to have had uh, less than a, a pleasant reaction to Robinson Cano on his way out. Had a press conference yesterday. He's a mariner right now. God bless him. 240 million bucks over 10 years. But what he said about the Yankee offer and why he didn't sign for $175 million for seven years. Now, it's not only is his right, God bless him, go wherever you want, you're a free agent, take as much money as you want, I get it. But he was insulted by the offer, and he went on to say, hey, they'd only pay me seven years, I'd be 37, what did I do for the rest of my life? This, just the context or, or the lack of connection to reality that some of these guys have and how insulting it is that they're offended by $175 million uh, it's and people wonder what sometimes why athletes you know there's a hair trigger emotion with the fans where they'll turn on you so quick it's from stuff like this these guys it's an entertainers too they just don't have a connection sometimes it's amazing how quick that can flip another athlete and Andrew I get your reaction is uh, Lance Armstrong we all know about him uh, obviously World Tour de France's then the Livestrong after his battle with cancer then obviously uh, probably as big a collapse um, from the athletic summit as anybody after all the revelations from his doping scandals and the cheating he said if he had to do it all over again he'd still cheat quote I knew what my competition was doing I knew we'd never get caught well obviously he knew wrong but secondly you surprised that there's no shame here that he'd do it all over again? No. No. I mean, he clearly enjoyed the celebrity. We wouldn't know his name if he hadn't cheated all those times and, and gotten where he was. I think you get a sense here of the same thing you get from, like, Wall Street guys. I, I think a lot of the Wall Street guys who get caught would do it again. Uh, that's, that's where we are. You, get what you, being you get what you can while you can. It's terrible. It's a terrible example. Well, I think the to message set. from the steroid era is look <clears throat> at these guys who got yeah. busted, and they're all free agents now, and they're all getting big contracts. There really isn't a downside other than your name, right? Um, and professionally, you still get hired, you know? So a lot of guys said I might not have made this contract in the first place if I didn't cheat. You know, look at Ryan Braun. What's really his downside? Yeah, yeah. It's, and it, I mean, it's, it, the, the attitude behind it is just, it's just so bad. I'm just hoping that there's a jinx on Cano for that. I hope he goes, you know, 175 for the first year. Right. I, I don't know, mind. guys. I'm with Mr. Cano on this one. But insulted? You'd be insulted you know, by no, 175? Wait, wait, no, wait a minute. What, let, let's look at this for a second. What is he worth? What is he what worth? The market if, pay. Okay, what the market right. would pay. But so you're not insulted okay, by wait, his absurd well, I, 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 th I thought he said that he, that he felt disrespected That's by the worse. Yankees. If he's worth double that and the Yankees only put up half of what he's worth, then I'd be well, disrespected all, too. There was only one other offer over 175. It wasn't like okay. everybody offered more. And he should take whatever he can get. But go out the door with a little bit of class and exactly. say thank you for everything. But do we say this about the owners? I mean, no. That's no, but they're point. not insulting. I mean, good do we point. say this about the owners? All right. Good well, point. Thousand dollar seats. So let me ask play. you this. <laughs> Again, we've seen <laughs> questionable. Um, analogies by lawmakers. Uh, John McCain uh, recently drew an analogy here uh, where he invoked Nazis here in appeasement because he didn't like a political decision, talking about Obama when he shook Raul Castro's hand here to Chamberlain with Hitler. Uh, after Mandela's pa passing, lawmakers couldn't help but uh, draw some comparisons, including Rand Paul to Mandela's. Shouldn't there be like a one-on-one -on -one guide for lawmakers? Don't talk about Hitler anymore, okay? You know, Don't make analogies. I mean, it's, a, it's really offensive. There is a one-on-one -on -one guide exactly. to good behavior. It's not for politicians. It's for everyone. You know, you wouldn't go to a party and expect someone to say, say something talking about Hitler in the context of exactly. Mandela's death. And if they did, you'd say, you know what, I'm offended by your, by your comment. And we should insist in our personal life as well as in our political life that we say something, but we we sort of have this allowance, and it's an allowance for politicians. I think it's an allowance for sports and celebrities and artists to say things that are so offensive and sort of off the mark. It's not acceptable, but it's not acceptable in the private context, and we have to do better at calling people out on it at home. And just like the cheaters in sports here, where there's yeah. not a downside, these guys get quotes and they can raise money off of it. There needs to become some kind of penalty here um, uh, for making a fool out of yourself. Yeah, John, but, McCain, uh, John McCain's better than that. He's a good, absolutely. Yeah. I agree yeah. with that one. 
Uh, Someone, thank you. My pleasure. Bill, thank, thank you as well here. You guys stick around. We're going to be right back after this here. Interesting ad that came out here and reaction to it. A lot of people said it's been a long time coming. Stay with us.